leverage the various features of the um, of the applications to do what they do very well. And in this particular case, this is the first of uh, the last three examples in which I'm going to kind of dive into. I won't call them the ultimate sophistication that would be overblown, but these are fairly sophisticated pieces. What I've done here for fun and for showing the example here is I wanted to create a situation in which we could analyze the sales per salesman per inventory type, that is per item code. What I wanted to be able to do is then is break the data down that we have in our sales history files in a different way, in a way that we're not going to be able to get out of the PBS report. So what I did was I created a back sheet here, which was, now you've become familiar with it, this is now simply an ODBC query into either our SQL database or our XDBC. And we can come in here, connections, and we can see that we've got here the back sheet and properties. And we're doing, and we can go and look, we could go out there and look at it. And, but what you can also notice is we've got parameters here. So now that we've introduced parameters, you understand that I can now control the dates and certain other things about the way the query functions, and I can control them right out of this sheet. So I've got a, an ODBC, I've got, I now got a SQL query going after our data here. And what I'm going to do then is really, from here on in, it's all standard Excel, absolutely standard. So having gotten this data, I'm now going to go to a front sheet. And what I do is, using this data as my source, I create a pivot table, standard Excel pivot table. So I created a pivot table in which the columns are the sales rep, the rows are actually the item code, but I'm displaying the item name because that makes more sense. And so what I then have is a sum in each one of these, which is the total sales for that sales rep for that item. That sales rep, sales rep one for a chisel, sold $105 worth of that stuff, and so on and so forth. Sales rep 23 sold 87 of that same item, and JAK, the sales rep JAK, sold 87 bucks, and so on down. Now, in behind that, I can also want to sort this for a range of dates. And right now, I'm sorting this for January the 1st through 123119. I think my data only goes up to 11, so I don't think this will make any difference if I change that and refresh. And eventually it will come back. So what we've got now is we've got a pivot table that has the data for each sales rep for each item code. And then what I did to extend this, I then created a three-dimensional chart with the item codes going left to right, the sales volume going up, and going into the back on the Z direction. The Z direction will be the salesman, salesman 1, 20, 23, 789, and JAK. And so we can see graphically what each salesman is doing. And so we can tell that salesman number 789 did a bang-up job on miscellaneous parts. So that stands out substantially. Whatever we want to do this with, this is a matter of being up to your imagination. And we can see that we're now pulling together all the various pieces that we were talking about in the theory section, the parameters, some of the features of Excel in terms of pivot tables and graphing, and the back-end ODBC to pull this data together. Okay, so I, I think you can see what we can do with this. This is pretty good stuff. You've seen the parameters. You've seen now the pivot table and the chart that we dro drove off that.